Hi everybody, Jillian here for Illustrated Faith's Print and Pray Shop and today I have a really fun video for you. Well, at least I think it's fun. I'm going to share a roundup of some of my favorite um, word study type journaling Bible pages here in my interleaved journaling Bible. And I'm going to also share the process for my very last entry from the Word Nerd devotional kit. So really quickly, I have flagged a bunch of pages that I've made in here where I took a word that intrigued me in scripture and journaled it. These are not from the Word Nerd kit. These are just pages that I've done over the last six months or so. So let's go ahead and flip through these really quick and then I'll go ahead and start my process for the word endure. So here's my first one. I used one of Vanessa's Big Story Bits and Bobs printable set and I looked at this word enuma that means faithfulness in Genesis 15. So for this one, I didn't use anything more than the print and pray pieces and an alpha stamp and lots of journaling, obviously. So pretty simple. Some of these are going to be on the simple side. This one I had a process video for um, where I looked at the word remember in Deut Deuteronomy 16. So I used patterned paper from one of Shauna Klingerman's um, print and pray sets this year, along with some older kit pieces that I had, like these journaling spots from Big Story, and then these um, fabric hearts from Wholehearted. And I used the circles as like journaling spots to, again, <laughs> hold all my notes. This one was super simple. In the video that I made sharing this, I was just talking about those basics that we reach for when we want to do a quick journaling page. One of those things for me is a grid label, in this case a jumbo grid label from Elaine, and an alpha stamp. Again, tons of notes, and a few little art elements here from a set that was done by Maiden Mojave. This page I did in Isaiah using Brave Little Taylor's digital devotional kit. Um, it's like Dreamer of Dreams, I think. It was about Joseph. But I used her journaling spots. Again, another alpha stamp set up here for my title and lots of journaling. This one was really fun to make, talking about living water. So I used some patterned paper that I fussy cut out. Again, patterned paper from Shauna Klingerman. A prayer print from Elaine an alpha stamp, and then some really fun um, media gloss sprays kind of like splashed all over the place. This was in John 7, and this is one of my recent favorites that I've done. And then I love this one too. Can I say that about my own pages? This was fun to make, fun to journal about, um, and I got to use patterned paper, which is my favorite supply ever. So I had a patterned paper from Tamara Arcilia that was um, maybe a couple of years old. I had it printed on clear sticker paper and used that as my background. And then I used a little journaling spot from Brave Little Taylor's The Living Word devotional kit, digital devotional kit, um, to get my notes down. I even used some of Taylor's um, Advent printables because I was journaling about Christ, the title Christ, and I um, wanted to have some king references in here. So the uh, 2019 word nerd stamp made an appearance in here. I love that thing. And yeah, I definitely want to come back to this format and try it again. Speaking of that, trying things again, I'm going to use Mandy Ford's new set, new this month, Morning Mercies. It came out earlier this month, but I've had it on my desk and haven't had a chance to use it. And so now I want to make use of it. So I'm going to like scrap lift myself a little bit. I think I did that last week too. When you want a journal but you're like just tired and maybe you don't have that creative energy to come up with something new, it happens to all of us. I think it's totally fine and new isn't always best. So I'm trying to find the page that I kind of want to copy from myself a little bit here. Here we go. This was again using that set from Brave Little Taylor about Joseph. I really like having the patterned paper in the background. Again, my favorite supply. And I think I could kind of recreate this using Mandy's pieces with my uh, study notes for the word endure. So using this as my inspiration, I'm going to flip back to Matthew 24, 13, where I'm going to be journaling today. I had marked it, but I think I lost my marker. Here we go. So since I just showed you those five or six or seven pages, however many there were, I wanted to think about what were some of the similarities that I saw in them. So I mentioned the first one, of course, lots of notes. I'll go ahead and chat while I'm cutting this stuff out. Lots of notes, and then I usually featured the word with alpha stamps. Not always, but usually. So I'll probably do that again today. And 
I made use of a journaling spot, so a label or a card or something like that. Fortunately, Mandy's set Morning Mercies has coordinating cards and patterned papers. I'm definitely going to use the patterned papers. And then, of course, print and pray pieces. This is a print and pray process video, so you can be sure that I'll use those. And then I have also pulled some Word Nerd kit pieces that will just be super easy to incorporate because Elaine's so great and she makes sure that everything coordinates. So I've got the washi tape, the labels from the kit, maybe I'll use them, I'm not totally sure. And then I've got the stamp set. So 2019 Word Nerd stamp set which I use all the time, and then this year's that came with the kit. Um, with, they're available a la carte now, by the way, because the kit is sold out. So, I hope that gives you guys some inspiration for your word nerd pages. So now I'm going to get started and speed things up. So next I'm going to start by cutting out the pieces I know I want to use. I really love the sentiment Hope Holder and had to include it on my page all about endurance. To me, if we're not holding on to hope, then how are we possibly enduring? Um, so I definitely wanted to feature that sentiment here and then I'm cutting out a journal card here and then lots of triangles. I have them arranged here. I didn't want to make you watch me like place them down the page and I do make a few changes as I'm working my way up and adhering each of them down. Um, like I had to cut two or three extra to fit all the spaces just the way that I wanted. And then I'm layering this clock with the journal card and one of Mandy's like illustrated washi strips. I thought that was just the cutest. I'm layering those together and that's kind of like where my title cluster is going to be. And then the hope holder is kind of like a subtitle. <laughs> so I'm adding some of the word nerd washi there and then I really wanted to use a red label. I uh, felt like that would be the greatest contrast. So I'm going to look to some printables from the word nerd kit and um, use those to get my red label in there. I used a pencil to note kind of like what was going to be covered up by that little alarm clock and then I just stamped my word endure on there using the Mary Alpha stamps that are in the Illustrated Faith shop. Once all of my big pieces were down I wanted to do some kind of like finishing touches with stamping even though I'm not really close to finished yet. <laughs> so I'm using both the 2019 Word Nerd stamp set and then the, the latest one from the Word Nerd kit um, along with a date stamp and then I'm punching a tab out of another one of those journal cards from Mandy. I'm going to fill in this stamp here so that it actually looks like a binder clip and then get to my journaling. So I kind of journaled all over the page. I didn't really do that in my inspiration page but I had a lot that I wanted to to note here and it wasn't all going to fit in that card so on top on bottom over on the left in that journaling spot and I like how it turned out it's just like really authentic to me and reminds me of all of those other word study pages that I love in my journaling bible but most importantly I looked at what it meant to endure uh, just as Jesus says in Matthew 24 13 which is where I was journaling so here are a few finished looks at my page and if you want to pick up Mandy's set Morning Mercies, it's linked down in the video description below, along with the other shop products that are in the Illustrated Faith shop. That's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you soon.